Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hollister McIntyre Flyers franchise. We are here in Season 5, Game 9, taking on the Chicago Bears. We've made a huge scheme switch. Our base defense is now the 43. We've moved Chance Fortunata and Kenny Durkins to the defensive line. We've got linebacker Keenan Callaway now, as well as Mitch Newman and Trey Harris, of course. And we'll see if that continues to hopefully make our defense better. We got to start with a pretty solid team here, the Chicago Bears, and Wyatt Ertz is still their leading quarterback. As off we go here in Salt Lake City, Virgil Hartwell taking this one as the kick returner, I'm trying to give him a few touches, and he'll get this down to the 29-yard line. A pretty solid return, and out comes Kyle Linehan, who's continuing to have a pretty solid season. Linehan, of course, did not get the start in Week One. But he has gotten the start for the past few weeks, and he has made the most of it to the tune of a 14 to 9 touchdown interception ratio. Start here on second down and 12, as it is now at the 27 yard line after two yard loss. And Linehan making some adjustments. He'll go ahead and snap this and throw this one as it gets broken up. That's for Lance Roach, and that is stopped short. Third down and 12 now. Linehan throwing this one across the middle. Hugh Porter catches that one handed. Hugh Porter is the human highlight reel. It's fourth and inches, and we're going to go for it at the 39. Linehan with the sneak. He's got it. First down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Linehan hands this off to Lance Roach. Lance Roach, a nice run there to the 45. A 15-yard run for him. And how about this Flyers offense starting off with a Hugh Porter crazy one-hander to get everybody fired up. Now Lance Roach again with the 15-yard run there. Roach down to the 29 yard line and we've seen him be very efficient in the runs he gets he might need more volume second down and six now at the 25 dropping back on to throw this one out to Scotty Miller on the check down a little flare out for him and they'll pick up about nine yards there to make it third down and one we've seen Miller and Lance Roach be used really well this season as Miller gets the call here on the run and that's a six yard run for him this first and 10 at the 14 Linehan now play action rolls out finds McCole Hardman on the cross and he's got it for a touchdown Hardman's first touchdown of the day and Salt Lake City takes a 7-0 lead Out comes Wyatt Ertz who is still the starting quarterback of the Bears You have to wonder if they're going to look for a new quarterback this offseason as Ertz contract does run up But he's having a decent year 20 touchdowns and 7 interceptions This is a handoff here to David Montgomery on first down for a one yarder Bears here on second down and nine. We'll drop back, throw this one out, and that is picked off. Jeff Okuda runs, unfortunately, into his own defensive line there. But the interception gets us to the 18-yard line. Okuda's third of the season, and you got to stop throwing it Okuda's way. Second down and 10 now for Linehan. Going to throw this one to Scotty Miller on the check down. He'll pick up four yards there. It's now third down and six. Cliff Kingsbury giving a talk over to Wyatt Ertz. And Linehan will take us off on the read option. And unfortunately, the blocker does not hold up there as Linehan will be stopped for loss and will kick a field goal. So with the ball again, you got the Chicago Bears and Wyatt Ertz. Hit as he throws. The pass rush got to him. And this is an okay Bears offensive line. Honestly, not that bad. So you don't expect a ton of pass rush this game, but we do expect some generated. Third down and three now. And Ertz in the gun alone with Tariq Cohen. Gonna drop back here. Ertz throws this one out. And Byron Handy with perfect coverage there, but can't break it up. That is a nice catch. And there's a first down and 10. Benjamin Wade in the slot right there. Gonna throw this one to him, actually. And he's at the 50 yard line now. Benjamin Wade, a pretty decent slot wide receiver. Ertz now handing it off. And Montgomery has the first down there. A nine yard run for him. Down to the 41 yard line. They really need to see Salt Lake's. Run defense be a little better, I feel like. Cohen in motion here. We got a Cohen and Montgomery backfield, and Montgomery gets the call. It's a one-yard collection for him, and it's second down and nine at the 40. Ertz now alone in the gum with Cohen. Cole Clement at tight end. And this one's a throw to Alan DeConti, and that gets punched loose. Nice coverage there by Mitch Newman and Tracy Walker. Now throwing this one short. And Tracy Walker again making a nice play there. Stopped well short of a first down. One yard gain. And the Bears will be forced to kick the field goal here. And it is wide right. Pulled wide right. Never even came close. So first and 10 Salt Lake City. 
And off to Lance Roach. Roach cuts it up the middle. Don't know if he's got a first down there. They'll say second and inches. Play action to him this time. And a deep throw. McCall Hardman. He had a step and he's in. Touchdown number two for McCall Hardman. That was a nice, nice throw from Kyle Linehan there. Just trusting Hardman's speed to get him open. And it did. Comet across the middle of the field there. And that is caught for a first down. And that'll be the end of the first quarter as Olympia, sorry, Salt Lake City has a 17-0 lead over the Bears. You have to forgive me for the Olympia slip. I was watching some of their football yesterday as they took on Iowa State. How about that win for them? Very nice. I saw they also switched to a 43, and it did wonders for them. Back to our game here as Komet catches that one for a first and 10. Now first and 10 and sacked for a loss. Akeem Hicks with the sack. Our first of the day. Down goes White Ertz. Third and 12 now in the pistol here. Cohen in the backfield. And Ertz will snap this one. Throws this one to Benjamin Wade underneath. Nowhere near first down. Wade does fumble. Are they going to say that was actually a fumble? Uh, no, they will not. Down by contact. Out comes the kicking unit for the Bears. And it doesn't matter. It's a turnover either way. Another missed kick here. We know the Bears have a history of really bad kickers. And uh, Linehan getting the chance to run his offense once again. 17-0 lead. Chance to make it a 24-0 lead. Linehan going to throw this underneath. Finds you Porter for about a 5-yard gain there. It's now third down and 5. At the 45, Linehan... And it's a handoff to Lance Roach, and unfortunately the blocking does not hold up there. That is a tackle right at the line of scrimmage, and we have to punt this one away. Ertz dropping back, throwing this one across the middle. Alan DeConti's got that one. A nice first down there for the slot wide receiver. First and 10 at the 45. Ertz going to drop back, throw this one. And Cole Komet's open. So, so far it's been mostly Cole Komet getting the receptions. We're not surprised by that. He always tends to dominate these matchups. Second down and five at the 35. Throwing this one across the middle to Allen Robinson. His first sighting today is Okuda's been mostly locking him down. But the slant route does get Allen Robinson open that time. First and 10, Ertz alone in the backfield. We know this is going to be a throw as Ertz can't really run the ball. He gets this off just barely in time. That is caught by Allen DeConti. It's a six-yard game. 14-yard line now for Ertz. He'll throw this one across the middle, and that is caught for the first down, down to the five-yard line as the Bears look to go ahead and put their first points on the scoreboard. Dropping back. Time running out. Chance Fortunata finally gets off and makes the tackle there. A sack for Fortunata. It's now second and goal at the 17-yard line. Ertz alone in the gun. Bunch is right here. Ertz will throw this one out to Cole Komet, and Komet has so much room in front of him. Nobody there in the flats, and that is third and goal now at the six. Third and goal, Ertz dropping back, throwing this one. Caught for a touchdown there, and the Bears go up as Harris makes his first grab of the day, or first touchdown of the day, rather. And it's now first and ten for the Flyers. A little flip pass here to Hugh Porter. He's got blocking in front of him. And Murdoch just didn't hold the block there. I think Porter could have cut that out a little wider, but he was trusting Murdoch to hold the block, and he just didn't. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. It is a play action, and time runs out for Linehan. Never even got a chance, and he's able to scramble and fall on the ball, thankfully, but that is a big sack there. 23-yard, or 13-yard loss, now second down and 23. Two-minute warning. We will hand this off to Lance Roach. Roach gaining a lot of that ground back. Actually gets a 13-yard run there. It's now third down and 10. Time winding down. Salt Lake City doesn't want to leave time on the clock. And Ernie Sachelski drops the drag there. So all the time left for the Bears. Screen pass here to Tariq Cohen. He's got a nine-yard reception and stopped at second down and two. One minute remaining in the half. Or it's dropping back here, throwing this one to Allen Robinson. Robinson, a big slant gain there for him. Kind of all Allen Robinson seems to do against us is run slants. And now Ertz going to throw this one out. That is caught by Tariq Cohen. He steps out at the 43-yard line as there's now 27 seconds remaining. Time running down. They're going to be throw here to Tariq Cohen. Stops short of a first down, and the Bears will hurry up and go ahead and call timeout for a field goal. 
53 yarder it's up and again it is no good nine points left on the board there for the bears as their kicker might be wanting to look for a new job tomorrow and it is a 17-7 lead for a, Lim a Salt Lake City team that had a really good defensive showing. And hopefully they can keep that up going into the second half. And we start the second half here. Second down and nine as Ertz will motion Allen Robinson over. Throw this one out to Cole Komet. Komet's got about eight yards and it is now third down and three. Ertz hands this one off to Cohen brought down by Jay Terry at the line of scrimmage run stopping game comes up big and we will force the three and out second down to 19 after a holding penalty and now Roach gets the call here and he won't get anything third and 19 don't expect much out of this as Linehan throws this one deep Hardman actually comes up with it but then loses the ball on the hit and you have to think Dante Pettis makes that catch maybe First and 10 at the 45 yard line. Dropping back. Ertz going to throw this one out to Cole Komet. It's been the Cole Komet show to me today. And uh, to me. <laughs> Who is surprised as Cole Komet has diced up this linebacking core? First and 10. Tariq Cohen motioning out wide as a wide receiver. And this time it's a throw to Allen DeConti out of the slot. DeConti with the 20 yard grab there. And it's first and 10 at the 26. So the Bears finding some, uh, some success in their passing game here. Now a flip pass to Alan DeConti. He's got blockers and he's going to pick up a big gain here. Down to the six yard line. That is a huge gain for him as Arts almost has 250 yards passing. Second and goal now. Handoff. Cohen brought down by Chance Fortunata and Mitch Newman in the backfield. Fortunata's had a pretty solid game so far. Third down and goal at the four. DeConti motioning over. Watch him. We cannot let DeConte keep scoring on us, and unfortunately, instead, Allen Robinson will on the slant over Jeff Okuda. All right. Well, it is a three-point lead. This 17-point lead has quickly dwindled down. Don't forget, nine points left on the board as Linehan sails this one for Stachelski. It's now third down and 10 at the 31. Throwing this across the middle, almost intercepted. Instead, Murdoch thankfully gets his hands on it, but it's broken up. And that's a quick three and out and punt for Salt Lake City. Bears with a chance to take the lead here after a 17-0 comeback. Uh, that is not impressive now for the Flyers. Throwing this one short. That is picked off. Jeff Okuda. No one in front of him. Pick six. How about Jeff Okuda this game? He's given up a touchdown to Allen Robinson, but he's had two picks, and he scored a touchdown back on his own. Handoff here to Montgomery. Brought down by Jay Terry at the line of scrimmage. It's a one-yard gain. Ertz with two backs in the gun. Drops back here. Throws this one across the middle. That is caught by Alan DeConti. Chris Harris in coverage. And Harris has been getting diced up by DeConti. Second down and eight now. Although that was good coverage for Chris Harris. Just couldn't force it loose. And this time Alan Robinson wins on the slant. Okuda giving chase. Walker giving chase. And Robinson will score a touchdown. All they like to do is throw slants to him. It's like when Amari Cooper was on the Cowboys. They just throw slants to him all day long. It's the most frustrating three. Run a different offense. How about this swing pass out to Lance Roach? And he'll catch that one down to the 44. A 20-yard catch and run for him. As Lance Roach has been everywhere today. Third and nine. Roach in the backfield. Looks like he's going to run a corner route on this. And he catches the first down there. About a 10, 15-yard catch. First and 10. Roach still in the game. Play action to him. And this time, Linehan steps up into the pocket and throws a nice pass on the run to McCall Hardman. First down. Now third and 11. Throwing this one across the middle. Lance Roach, the angle route. He's got it for 15 yards and a first down as Roach has been everything today. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Linehan takes off on the read option. He'll have to slide down. Actually loses some yardage on that. Now second down and 16, and we will end the third quarter with a three-point lead. You need to score something here to maintain this lead, though. Bears are climbing back. Second down and 16. Play action to Roach. Throwing this one deep, and that should have been intercepted. It was actually in... A bear defender's hands, but he drops it. 
Third and 16. Let's not throw any more interceptions. Underneath here to Dylan Murdoch. He's got blocking from McCole Hardman and a first down to the 16 yard line. And that was a nice play by Dylan Murdoch. Hugh Porter in motion now. Flip pass to him. He's got blocking from Murdoch. One man to beat to the end zone and he cannot do it at the five yard line though. And it's first and goal. Salt Lake City looking to go up two scores. Linehan dropping back here, takes off with this one, flips it out to, that is Scotty Miller, just kind of sat there in the flats, and Miller catches it for his first receiving touchdown of the day, and the Flyers go up 10 points, so first and 10, and that is Ertz getting hit as he throws, pass rush got there quickly, bunches left now, second down and 10, throwing this one out on the corner route, he's got Allen DeConti again, open that time Trey Harrison coverage and he's just destroying everyone first and 10 at the 47 yard line Ertz dropping back throws this one out and that should have been picked off I think Harris could have jumped that and Harris has the ball skills for it too first and 10 now Ertz throwing this one out that is Benjamin Wade his first mention since about the first quarter I believe as that is now 360 yards passing for Ertz today Ertz in the gun here, two backs. He's going to throw this one out. That is caught by Alan DeConti. Guess who? DeConti has to be close to 100 yards receiving on the day. Now Ertz dropping back, throws this one out. And uh, guess who? Alan DeConti, once again, getting a little frustrating. Maybe we should start double teaming him. Second and inches, throwing this one out. This time it's Alan Robinson. That's a five yard in there for him that makes it first and goal at the five. In the gun with Cohen, dropping back. All the time in the world. Throws this out. Gets broken up by Byron Handy, though. Second and goal at the five now. Ertz dropping back. Throwing this on the screen. Cohen breaks a tackle. Cohen into the end zone. As Leno is down on the play. And is a three-point game once again. So Miller going to motion out wide here. We now have doubles. And Linehan making some adjustments. Let's see what he does here. And he throws the slant to Scotty Miller. That's a hard assignment for a linebacker. Fourth down and one at our own 33. Salt Lake City actually going to go for it here as Kosi Minsa picks up the first down. His first run of the day goes for five yards, and it's now second down and six. At the 43-yard line, dropping back. Linehan throwing this one out. McCole Hardman's got it. That is a first down at the 49-yard line as McCole Hardman has been very solid today. Dropping back now, throwing this one. The comeback for McCole Hardman. That got jumped. I think the timing was off there, too. And Linehan throws an interception, unfortunately. The three-point lead, that might have been fatal with four minutes remaining in the game. First and ten for Ertz. Can he make something happen here? Throwing this one across the middle to Cohen. Cohen down to the 38-yard line. And the Bears are already in range to tie this game up. Two back set here as it looks like Ertz will take this one, throw this one out. Alan DeConti gets it broken up. Finally, some good defense there from Byron Handy, of course, shadowing Alan DeConti. Second down and 10, dropping back. Throwing this one out all alone is Alan Robinson. It looks like we were doing some zone defense there. Wandre Diggs didn't pick him up. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Throw to Alan Robinson on the slant down to the 2-yard line. Enough slants to Alan Robinson, Bears. Second and goal at the one now, and you're expecting to go down with two minutes remaining. Pitch out to David Montgomery, and he'll be brought down by Byron Handy in the backfield. Okay, so third and two, a chance to go ahead and get a goal line stand here and force the tie. As Ertz drops back, throws this zone out, and that is almost picked off. <sighs> Chris Harris has had so many chances this game. So back on offense, Salt Lake City now tie game throughout the Lance Roach, and that is a tackle for loss. Second and 14, Roach and Miller in the backfield. It's a screen pass to Miller. He's got blocking, and he makes a man miss. Miller with no one in front of him. Running down to the 20, the 30. I can't even count. He's down to the 28-yard line. A big gain there, and with 120 remaining in the game, that might be all Salt Lake City needed to go ahead and win this one. Lance Roach in motion, handoff, Matthew Beard fighting off hits there down to the 25. Second and 12, handoff, Miller up the middle, and he picks up two yards down to the 28. 
Now third and ten. Handoff. Beard. Hit down at the 24. And this is where Salt Lake City elects to kick the field goal. One minute will be remaining in the game though. So it's not over yet. 34-31. So out comes Wyatt Ertz. 60 seconds remaining in the game. What can he do? Throw this one out here to Benjamin Wade in the flats, and that is not a good start as time was winding down. Third and nine after the spike now, and it's a 40-second game. Ertz throwing this one across the middle. Komet's got it, but again, he's in bounds. You can't afford these. 30 seconds now, time winding down at the 35-yard line, 26 seconds. Ertz throwing this one out. And Alan DeConti, a nice catch and throw there. DeConti steps out of bounds. He has 150 yards receiving. And now just a few more yards for the Bears to be in field goal range. Ertz hit, he throws, and that was almost the game. Second and 10. Ertz dropping back. Time running out. He throws this one to Tariq Cohen, who cuts inside. Cohen doesn't step out of bounds for some reason. And that is the game. What was Cohen thinking? Salt Lake City picks up a lucky 34-31 game after really 12 points were left off the board that should have been scored by the field goal unit and Tariq Cohen with a boneheaded play. I don't think our defense was good this game and I think our offense could have been better. But I really like what I saw from Salt Lake City to hold on to this lead despite giving it up at the beginning. Our pass game needs some help but I think that was a fun one. Our defense made some plays though. We got some takeaways. Thank you so much for watching. I am excited for where the Salt Lake City team is going. We take on the Vikings next week. I will see you then.